Golf isn't easy, particularly because we don't improve linearly. Since starting the channel, my own index has varied between 5 and 9. And sure, we can take lessons and upgrade equipment, but I tend to play my best golf when I stay within myself and I'm enjoying good company, like this round at Peacock Gap in San Rafael. After this round, my index dropped back into the sixes, and I thought it would be worth taking a look at it shot by shot. Not every shot is going to be perfect, including my approach here on one, but I've always maintained that the key to scoring is keeping the ball in play and being tidy inside 100 yards. So here inside 100, I get it close enough to have a look at par, and even though it doesn't quite drop, we're okay walking away with a bogey. It's important for me to harness that ethos throughout my rounds, because several of my best scores have begun with big numbers. And here on two, I'm going to be put to the test again. Oh no. This one comes up a bit short, and it actually trickles into a greenside bunker. And just like the first hole, being tidy inside 100 yards means I'll have a look at getting out with par. Low the whole way. But this one isn't meant to be either. Peacock Gap is a pretty flat course, this is probably the biggest hill out there. It's playing about two Boy, clubs uphill and into wind, hook on that. and even my five hybrid isn't enough here. A little too far left? My best laid plans on that bunker shot didn't quite work out, and I'll have a long leg for par here, and it leaves me a bit of a tester downhill for bogey now, but I drop it. Typically my best scores come on par fives. The way I think about Get them down. is that if I put the ball in play off the tee, I'm left with a short par four. And here after carving a forward around the trees on the right, I'm left with just a gap wedge in. But this one's a bit off. Hold it. I'll nonetheless be putting for birdie. And I was pretty impressed with the quality of the greens here. They get close to 300 rounds a day, and I didn't see too many pitch marks on there throughout the day. That's one way to play it. This is a scuzzy drive on five, but I will get away with it. And from 135 in, it's a smooth eight iron for me, and I hit it right at the pin. So the question here is, do I have to give up the hole? I think just a hair outside the right edge. For the first time today, I really commit to a line, and I'm rewarded with the birdie. <laughs> Everything short of this screen is water. Oh, they did it. And even though I'm not happy with that one, it covers and it's exactly pin high. Oh, I got away with that. I'll have a decent enough look at birdie here, but I underread this putt the whole way. But on a hole like this, I'm happy walking away with a par. Wind became a factor throughout the day. Right at the right bunker, unfortunately. But I didn't hit it that well, so it'll probably be short. And between wind and a bad strike, I only got about 210 out of that drive. But this one gets rewarded with an incredible bounce right towards the pin. And it's basically a kick in birdie. What a birdie. This is one of the few holes all day that will play downwind, but unfortunately I don't get all of this one. Ah. I'm still left with 240 in. That was not hit well. It's at the water. I thought this one might be in the water, but I'm lucky enough to get away with it. And from about 50 yards, I'm hoping to get this one close. Yeah, that's good. I'll have a look at birdie here, but this putt was pulled the entire way and we'll settle for par. This is round six with my new clubs. Nice and I think I'm officially ready to declare that their performance is identical to my last clubs. It really is the operator and not the tools. Uh, and this is a good no. example. I let up on a nine iron here when I guess I should have leaned into it. But now we'll lean on the short game, and once again we get up and down for par. It's a good recovery after starting three over through three to be just one over for the front. And it began by keeping the ball in play. All seven times we hit driver, we left ourselves in position to hit the green in regulation. And even though we failed to do so more than half the time, we scrambled a couple of times and made a couple of birdie putts. With nothing atrocious on the greens, 14 putts leads to one over and a good score going into the back. Oh, I launched it. That's going long. Sit. Oh, it did. Okay. It's always nice to get an unexpected result like that. And I really thought I saw a line on this putt, but it misses just a hair to the right and we'll start the back with the par. Here we're playing the back tees. Our tee box was under repair, and this will be the longest par four we play all day. After a good drive, that's not it. I do that. 
But now it's time for my favorite pitch and putt number. 80 and 100 are my two best yardages with a wedge. Stop. And look how close this one goes. We'll tap in for a great par. <laughs> We've hit every fairway so far today. Okay. And here that comes to an end. Wonder if that got through. It ends up stopping on a cart path and I take a drop. And so much for having a short par four after a good drive. Now this is a long par four. I don't have 240 in my forward, and especially into the wind here. Now I'll try to get up and down from 50. Oh, teeth dip. And yikes. No. This is going to lead to our first big score of the day. Mmm. Terrible. That wasn't a good chip either. And we'll have about 20 feet for bogey now. And it's online, but not enough. Because I made a big number from 50 yards. Goldfish memory. I'll lean into a four hybrid on the toughest par three on the course. Be the number. It's painting the flag stick and winds up only at about 12 feet. I pulled it. And left it two feet short. But that's not my best effort. And we'll get out with par. This is another hole straight into wind. And even though I hit a good drive here, I don't get to go for it and I'll have to use some course management. It's about 180 to these bunkers, and Should I hit my 180 club Thanks. into win, knowing that even if I hit it well, it won't get there. Now from 110, that's not a great swing, but at least it's on the green. And there's a ridge right about here where the ball is cresting, and I had the ball breaking after it, but instead it just holds its line. But we will get out with a par. Oh. Asked for the left miss, got it. I didn't get a ton out of that drive, and here I grab an extra club and swing easy at it, but I probably needed a full 150 swing. Boy, that's short. I'll still have a bit of work to do. That's a good chip, and I should have a good look at getting out with par. Nope. But my miss with putter tends to be a pull, and that crept up a few times throughout the round today. This is another one where I'm grabbing an extra club. We figure it's playing about 160, and definitely don't want to leave it short. Sit! Sit! I end up hitting it a bit past the pin, but that's certainly better than the shortness. And oh. this one looked like it had a chance of dropping. But we'll walk out with another par. How bad is that? I didn't like the line on that one, but it is the yardage I was supposed to hit it. Hold the finish. Hold it. But there it is, the worst shot of the day. It's in the water and I have to take a drop here. And I just didn't calm myself before that wedge shot that leaves me a ton of work to do. Like that. And just before hitting that putt, I said to my buddy Adam that I really didn't want a three putt. And I manifested it right into a reality of making my one and only triple of the day. But I follow it up with that. That's one of the better drives I've ever hit. Even on flat ground, it rolls out to about 300. And yes, it had a wind assist. And as a result, I let up on my next shot, but I guess it needed a full wedge. That's how we do it. But that's a good recovery and a tap in par on 18. I have an upcoming video that will go through these numbers more thoroughly. But what you need to know is that the computer considers this round as me playing like a seven handicap. And this score brought my handicap down back into the sixes. It was certainly a more adventurous back nine, but we still managed to break 80 today. Going through those main stats, the driver kept us in play virtually all day long. We hit a decent number of greens and managed to scramble quite a few times when we missed. There was only one three putt and we were more or less tidy inside 100. And as I've always maintained, on days that I do that, the scores stay low.